Welcome, folks. Back again with another exclusive video for y'all. Uh, my name is Ray Jones, also known as Excellent Dreams. I do custom rhinestone apparel, for instance. This was a shirt right here that I made roughly five, maybe six years ago. This fortune over fame, of course, with the fortune over the fame and then the lettering at the bottom. Kind of slick, huh? Well, I thought I had another one to show y'all. Oh, here it is right here. And of course, you know, you got vinyl. You got holographic vinyl that can give you the rhinestone effect. But that's not rhinestones at all. That's just two colors of, of hologram. And I cut it into circles. But that's slick though, right? But as you can see, the one I have on is rhinestone as well. But it's soft. There's no vinyl feel on it. That's because of sublimation with rhinestones on top. Let me show you another example. Same, same uh, design. Sublimated on there, nice and smooth. Check out the Diamond Club going down the sleeve. This is all done with a vinyl cutter and a heat press, folks. Diamond Club, fully studded up. All right. I have a, a Epson 7620 printer. So I have, I printed this one up. I didn't put any stones on it because I made the mistake of not mirroring it. So, of course, these two skulls can now talk to each other. Hey, brother, what's going on? Man, just chilling. Yo, I'm on YouTube, man. Doing a video, bro. Yeah, basically, this shirt was supposed to have been facing the other way. Like this. That way I could have put the stones on it. But, hey, I might just... Reverse the, the rhinestone template and put stones in this one as well. Sublimation, sublimation. I would have never been able to accomplish this all over color print if it wasn't for sublimation. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into it. All right, so here I am over at the heat press, right? I got some images. I'll be right back. Here's my images. Now, I printed these out on the Epson. Uh, 7620 photo printer and there's one there's two you know I split them I could have you know did it all on one sheet did another one all on one sheet but he you'll see he kind of big all right so already that's not cut yet I have this one. Bear with me, bear with me. Sit that over there to the side. I got this one. This one's gonna be slick. Well, I did like a different colorway. And of course, Printed the sleeves out on the side, you know what I'm saying? 
That way I don't have to print off a second sheet for sleeves. Now this one, since this, since this one is all ready to go, and I'm so antsy to see how this one will turn out, let's go ahead and rock with this one first. So, let's just slide this shirt off of the hard board. We'll slide it over here for now. And what I do is I slice off all of the excess white from off of this image. As you can see, this image has the excess white on it. I sliced off all the excess white off of this image. I used the one with the white on it as my tab. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Let me find my tape. Should have had everything lined up for y'all, but I've been moving around. Where's my tape dispenser? Oh. Uh, there it is. There you go, player. Got it. All right. So, I grab a piece of tape. And I apply like three pieces of tape. One on each end, and one in the middle. And y'all like, what kind of tape is it? What kind of tape is it? Man, for this process right here, this is scotch tape. This is regular old household scotch tape. Well, office, office scotch tape. All right. I got my flap set up, as you can see. I got a piece of tape on each end and in the middle. What I'd like to do is I like to turn it sideways and lay it down. Then next, I grab my next sheet. Right here. Ha <laughs> ha. I use that flap and that white space to line it up like so. And by golly, that's perfect. Once it's all lined up, you flip it over, and cover up those gaps. So that as you're pressing it, it lays flat. Like, dang, he about to just put scotch tape on it, though, for real, though? Yeah. Scotch tape, player. All right, flip it back over. Now it's one image. Bow! I lay that sucker down. Pull out my... Just so that I can get off those sleeves. I could have did that before. But I guess I was waiting. Nice and smooth. Now those sleeves are ready to go. I just need to section them off. Matter of fact, let me do that right now because the back to this shirt is right there.
All right, that's cool. All I need to do is get that shirt out for now. Somebody's calling me. That go to the back. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on. I lost my, my juice. There we go. I don't think that was ever on from the, from the start. I don't think that was ever. Oh, it went back out. Hold on, y'all. There we go. Look at that. Look how much of a difference that makes. The, the ring light. All right, so. Let's get it. I got this sucker taped up. I'm ready to go. Let's find a shirt to put on. Put, put it on. Do 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 do. All right, we gonna put it on this shirt right here. This seems like a suitable contender. A core, three sixty five. All right. Nice and smooth. Oh, we already had a shirt to put it on. Wait a minute. This bad boy right here. Size extra large. It's a V-neck. But I think that V-neck, because the V comes down. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see how big it's gonna be on there. Ah, uh, nah, that's right. That's cool. Cool beans. Let's get the let's get the press. And the shirt is already flat. I have pre-pressed it already, y'all. Uh, and it's got a piece of paper in the inside. Bring it down to about right there. Of course, I can see through this paper. I can see straight through it. Now, I know y'all probably asking like, hey, Ray, there's tape all on the back of your sublimation paper. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Voila. Cover that bad boy up. Like so. And they're like, oh, the crowd goes wow. And they're like, what kind of paper is it? Oh my God, what kind of paper is it? It is. Packing paper. Protective wrap packing paper. Pretty cheap, huh? Works for me. I don't know what everybody else be telling y'all, but it works for me. Slide this baby over. 385 for 60 seconds. Get it in there, just lift them up. 385 for 60 seconds. And when it's done, it's gonna come out looking vibrant. Like this. Woo! Or even like this fatigue one. Look at this army fatigue one though. Look at this biggie. This one is slick. I'm gonna redo this one. Because as you can see, it faded up here by its head. You know what I mean? But wait, there's more. Check out the Muhammad Ali with the rhinestone gloves. Beep. All right. Slide it over, slide it over. Get the other side. 
So y'all see the Muhammad Ali, right? With the rhinestone gloves. That's slick, ain't it? Look at this one. Biggie, biggie, baby, baby. That's all over front. I was sad. I was, I was geeked up when I did that one. All right. Back to, back to vinyl. And it ain't got rhinestones in it, but it's got rhinestone skull heads. Look at that. That's vinyl. That's like some type of foil. Look how that shine. And there's definitely some benefits to using vinyl, you know? You got so much vinyl out there. You got, you got the adhesive for the foils. You got the glitters, of course. You got the holograms. You know, you got the patterns. There's so much. I'm not, I'm never counting vinyl out, you know. I'm about to start actually mixing all three of them. Mixing all three mediums. Well, check this one out. Now this is just all rhinestones. Look how look how clean and how polished that came out. You know? Now all of these will definitely will be for sale. Just hit me up. Say hey Ray. I need that. I need that in my collection because, as you can see, there's a lot of one-on-ones where I made one, and that was it. Look at that. I I love the way this came out. Oh. Check out the Monopoly with the rhinestones all in it. Now that that's not sublimation. That's vinyl and rhinestones. We got one more, one more spot to do on this, y'all. 60 seconds. Here we go. Now, this is the same design. But I blew it up. You know, it was a lot of cloud, a big cloud on that one. And then I broke it up in little clouds on this one and made it bigger. Same design. This one was in the box, and I was like, Ugh, what can I do to get rid of that box? Well, that's it, y'all. Hey, if y'all liking this video so far, man, please smash that like button. Uh, please share the video with somebody you think that definitely be interested in it. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe to my channel where I show you how to make all whatever you can think of. Inbox me and be like, hey, Ray. Make this, and I do it. I show you how it's done anyway. You know what I mean? But watch this. The reveal is now. Woo! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now this right here, this shirt, like as you can see, the colors are just a little tad bit faded versus how they pop on here. What I got on is 100% polyester. This shirt right here is called District Perfect uh perfect try so it's got 50 percent polyester uh 25 percent cotton and 25 percent rayon so this was a this was a blend Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that. 
Might be faint. All right. Wow. Okay. Should have covered it up, but that's cool. Voila. For the next one, we just gonna cover it up. They're like, well, why don't you tape it down? I taped it down before. But hey, there's no need to tape it down because once it goes down, it's going to go down. That's all I can tell you. All right, so I'm doing the back of this shirt right here. And what I use is grab a piece of regular paper, uh, copy paper, printer paper, slide it in the neckline. Like so. Let's give it a quick press. Slap the diamond club right on the back like so. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, play This copy paper definitely comes in handy, y'all. When you just wanna cover it up real quick. Sixty seconds. Uh, let's get back to it though. Check this out. That was the same one inside the box. Got the clouds and the rhinestones popping off. Back to an oldie but goodie. Bow. We got the. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Guess I could have added some black somewhere to it to make it pop out just a little more, but I was on my, my white and green shit. Because the shoes that I had was white and green. That's the back. Come out of there. Boom. Now that's saucy, y'all. If I do say so myself. On to the next one. Oh, yeah, look at the back. Came out slick, right? Say, wait till y'all see the stones in that joker. Your boy Muhammad Ali. Back to the all over stones. I don't even know if y'all can read that. Did it say young? Wait a minute, can y'all read that? What it say? 
If you can read it, please comment down below and let me know what it say. Because it depends on how the light hit it. It's definitely readable. I could have went with a different color, but I guess I wanted it to stand out. So when it hits your eye, you attempt to try to read it. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, I can read it. Yeah, let me know what it say in the comments down below. All right, moving on to the next one. Boom. We don't need these anymore. These are tainted. But this, you can use that again. And this one. Oh, no, that one got the, the skull head in it right there. So, discard those two and grab two more. A three more. A four more. Me personally, I like reaching into my pack. Grabbing out a stack. A stack just like that. Jack. Alright. Let's go ahead and take this one up. Boom. Wait a minute. Hold on. What am I doing? Oh yeah, that's right. Boom. Let's go ahead and cut this side off. Real quick. I got my trusty... Like so. More, more sleezing, more sleeving. Boom. Flip this little tab over. Let's get my tape. Take this bad boy up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Shoobity doobity doo doo. It's alright. Oh yeah. A shoobity doobity. Alright, now I'm gonna get, next time y'all see me, I'm gonna have a totally clean workspace. I'm going to pull all the tape off the walls and all of that. It's like, nah. All right, let me see. Got to grab the next piece, which is right here. Right here, right here. Bada boom, bada bing. Just got to lay that. Oh. Oh. Moving too fast, y'all. Moving too fast. That ain't even cut yet. Got my trusty scissors. I like to lay it up, lay it up against the hardboard. You know, when I ain't got nobody holding the other end of it, make it easy. That way I can go right down that line. I used to be called Edward Scissor Hands in, in high school because I was so precise with the scissors. You know what I'm saying? They used to call me Ray, Ray, Ray Scissor Hands. Five out. Put them in my back pocket. All right, flip this tape. Come on. That heat got to it, so it curled up on me. That might be a good thing. Because that means that it ain't going to catch necessarily till I lay that joker down. Line it up. 
perfect. Now, I ain't gonna do all that extra taping, right? I'm just gonna grab my next shirt, jerseys, 21M. Let's go ahead. And cover up my hardboard. Because of course I haven't covered it up before. And you seen what happened. Boom. That's covered up. I grab another one. For the inside of the shirt. I like to hold it like this. Get the shirt around it. Straighten the shirt up. Hold the tape, the paper to one side like this. Hold it against my chest and just open the other side. Pretty much let it hang in there like that. Comes out pretty straight. Boom. Now, boom. Still got just a little bit of maneuvering to do. Good though. And get that whole piece in there flat. Here we go. There we go. The sleeves are your friend because you can go in there from the sleeve up top. Flatten it out like that. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Let's rock. Give it that free press. Flatten it on out. Slide it over. Slide it over. Most people say, why don't we use any tape? Because I spend the whole board job. I ain't worried about nothing moving or shifting when I spend the whole board. Sure enough, I watch tutorials where they spent the paper. Nah, I just spin the whole board. Everything stays in place. Boom. Alright. Got it flat. Grab my image. Now this is 100% sublimation. Using the same colors that's in this shirt. But I flipped it. Just the jacket. I'm using Koala, Koala sublimation paper. About 13, a 13 inch by 30 foot roll. You know what I mean? And that's what I use. Slide this bad boy over. <laughs> All right, so look at this one. This is the how it looked after it's printed. I know they say it's some sublimation uh, paper out there that pulls all of the ink off the paper. And if you know what it is, please comment down below because I definitely would love to try that out. 
Also, a lot of people say use Cosmos ink. I'm going to show y'all what type of ink I'm using. This is the ink I've been using to make a lot of these clothes, of, of this apparel. I went on eBay and I just found some ink. Any ink. If you ask me, I need to mix inks. I have even mixed inks, y'all. From one sublimation printer to another sublimation printer. All I did that time was just slid the board over. Shoop! Shoop! But yeah, it's, it's called Sublimation Ink. Bulk Ink. Works well for me. Not saying you should try it. You know, there's tons of inks out there, but, you know, I'm just laying down all of the tools that, that's needed to make the shirts. Oh, yeah. This one's going to be fire. This one right here going to be fire, y'all. That one right there is fire. I got to show y'all the other ones. Wait till y'all see the other ones. Also, if you haven't liked the video yet, smash that like button. I'm spinning the entire board. Blah, blah. Everything stays in place. And press this side. I got one more side. And it's done. It's done. Hold on, but wait till y'all see this other shirt. Snap. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, beep. Lift that up. Slide the entire board over for the final press. All right, here go another one. This was another one. I was inside the box design. But look at them bright colors. Look how vibrant that is. Oh my. This is another polyester. But look at that on that purple or that, what is that? That purple and that teal. I mean, yeah, that teal and the yellow on that like sky blue. That one is fire. I know I like doing a lot of skull heads with the rhinestones. Let's check that one out. Nine, eight, five, four, three, two. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for the review? How more vibrant those colors are. Look at that. Woo! But wait, there's more. I 
I believe. Here we have it right here. That one. You could barely see it except when I tilt it. However, I just had the paper. You couldn't see it. But watch this. Watch this. Also, remember, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, share this page with your friends and be like, man, check this guy out. Check out what this guy is doing with a printer and a heat press. With a printer and a heat press. Yeah, a printer and a heat press. With a printer, doo-doo, and a heat press. With a printer and a heat press. Slide yourself on in there. Want to make it all difficult. Wrinkling up on me and stuff. What's going on, player? Go ahead and grab a little piece of my trusty tape. Nope. This tape right here doesn't work for this application. But of course, I got some vinyl. I got the transfer tape that came off the back of vinyl. Slice a little piece of that off. Cause I'm laying it directly on the shirt like this. Ah, just to use that as placement. Boom. Cause that has, doing that little piece, it has been known to shift on me. Take a shift on me. Boom. Now, with that being said, all I need to do is cover it up with a piece of copy paper. And press that joker. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. So, as I was showing y'all, this one, this one came out, so... Look at them stones up close and personal. Oh, yeah. I was definitely excited when I got done with that one. You know. Then I got into sublimation. This is one of my first attempts. As you can see, it's all faded. All up at the neck and stuff right here. But, hey. Definitely still was excited. Oh, yeah. All done. Ah. All done. All done. Look at that. Come on, get out of here, shirt. Ah, get out of me. Get out of me. Huh. There we go. All right, so look. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. And look. That ink does go through the paper, y'all. Look at that. So, get rid 
these. Slide these over there. Alright, let's do a side by side comparison. Cut the heat press off for a second. I think I'm gonna do two videos today. So stay tuned. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Also, remember to hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I drop a new video. Because I've been dropping them pretty frequently. These are using the same colors, y'all. Have the same printer. One shirt is 50% polyester. The other shirt is 100% polyester. All right. So, so the one on the right. That's the 50% polyester. It's 50% polyester, 25% cotton, and 25% rayon. Radon. A rayon. All right. Still came out slick. The colors were still vibrant. If you ask me, they still pop on the shirt. You know what I mean? But look at the counterpart. Look at that one compared to that one. Look at that. Wow. Wow. So 100% polyester is definitely what you want, folks. 100% polyester. I used the same printer settings. I just, I should have did the exact same. I should have did that blue for that jacket. I should have did the exact same image. But I wanted to make two separate shirts. But also do a comparison of the two. Using the same colors, you know, so it's the same blue in the clouds. I just didn't give them a blue jacket. I gave them a, a color jacket. So definitely, if you're liking this video, please smash that like button. Also, remember, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you liked about this video. Let me know what I can do better. Because I'm going to keep them coming, y'all. I'm definitely going to keep them coming. This is Excellent Dreams, and I'm out.